Hi there, this is Catan Dice Game or Catan the Dice Game by Klaus Teuber. It's a role, play and settle game. This is the standard edition and uh, this is from Mayfair. So Mayfair aren't really around as much as they kind of used to be based on um, how uh, they've been bought out and stuff. But I'm going to show you what this game is all about. It's a roll and write game. I'm just going to leave it right around the same way initially. And it's uh, a game which basically re-implements Catan as if we're using dice. Now, it's usually used to be called like trading, but in this game we're rolling. And the difference is, uh, crucially, that we're trying to go around certain tracks. So here's some examples of some games already being played. So I'm just going to actually do a playthrough of this game at the same time. And if there's any shadows and stuff, it's a new way of me trying to record this because there's an issue with the microphone and just trying to bring it out of one um, channel. So I'm trying to make it equal a bit. I'm going to be using a red pen because I find it shows up a lot better than pencil. And even though pencils means you can erase something, I think it's slightly better. So here's the rule book. This is the English rule book for getting in England or English speaking country. And this is going to be the standard rules that if you wish to play it on Island One. So I'll be showing on Island One because you can solo it, you can play it. Um, it does say two to, well, one to four. I guess you could potentially play with more players, but I think there's a lot more downtime with more players. It's 15 to 30 minutes. And um, when I've played this before solo, it takes about 16 minutes. Um, so I think we'll probably be able to get it under that. Island two, we may come onto a bit later. But what you do initially is you're gonna roll your dice and you're trying to get the best score possible. So what you could be doing is trying to roll and get a specific symbol, such as brick, and then we're gonna need some wood. You can re-roll any dice you wish. So I could re-roll just these and keep this aside. And then I can do it again for a third time and then keep what's remaining. So a bit of a push your luck. And you're kind of trading me the self. You're kind of pushing to say, well, I really want this now. So you're trying to get something better. And what you're doing is you're then able to mark off on here and get one point for this round. And you're trying to get as most points as possible. So against other players, obviously you're going to be competing. When I played this the first time, um, according to many other people's scores have been posted, uh, with my score of 94, they found that to be pretty high. Um, so that game I did before, I happened to go around this way. If I happen to get a, um, a, a, a town, a settlement, basically you need the same kind of resources as in the base game of Catan, which is brick, wood or lumber, sheep and grain or wheat. And then you can circle that and you're going to get three points. You could get multiple things amongst the six dice. So you could get three bits of road for three points. You could get um, two knights in turn order or in an um, anti-clockwise order, you would uh, circle the knight and it allows you whenever you wish to get a single or you then cross that out and then you move on to the next thing. If you happen to get two gold symbols, you could use that as a wild. And if you happen to get up here, again, you could use um, any resource if you're choosing to cross it off and do that. So if you want to get a town, you need to make sure you reach, for example, this position here, and then it lets you cross it off. If you wish to get off these uh, um, cities, you need to get out that way first and get 12 points. So I've rolled. I'm going to keep that, and now I'm going to keep rolling and seeing what I get. So I do have the lumber or the wood, and what else do I have? I've got a final roll, and I'm thinking I might actually go for... So I can either roll this to try and get an ore, or I could try and roll this to get a wood and then try and get a house. I think I'll roll this. Let's see what I get. I got gold. So I didn't get anything uh, useful. So I just get a single bit of road. That's one round. So we've got another 14 to go. If in a round I happen to push myself and get nothing at all, let's just re-roll it, um, then uh, it doesn't count. I actually lose two points up an X and I'll lose minus two at the end of the game. This time, wow, okay, so we've got a lot of uh, ore. I think it's handy to get these knights early on. So let's roll all of these dice and see what we can get. So we do have now a grain. So now we've got um, uh, the knight and I've got this remaining. So I'm not sure what I really want out of that lot. I think another road would be good. So I could keep the gold and hope to get another gold. I've got just as much chance of getting brick. Okay, so nothing useful there, but at least I've got a knight. So knight um, is uh, one point in round two. So now I'm going to make sure this is all in shot. So just checking that's there. Good. And then we're going to go again. So 
Uh, I'm changing the camera angle as well slightly. So this time we've got, I think another night to be good because it's a free resource. So I think we're gonna try and go for sheep. Didn't get a sheep, let's go again. Big risk here, might get nothing at all. Excellent, so I've got a sheep and nothing else. So I've got another knight. I'm choosing not to spend my resources so far, but I could choose to if I think I'm gonna get nothing. So that was another knight. So I had one, two, three turns, that's two. Go again. This time, um, what I might do is just uh, make you see that in shots. And uh, here we go, I've got some wood and I've got a knight, excellent. So I've got another piece of road for one point and another knight, so that's four points. Go again. Um, a road, a road. Let's just go for two roads for now. Road, road, two points. Or what I could do is instead of getting those two roads, I could have, no, I don't have a sheep. Cool. So that's another two points. Um, I'm already a third of the way through the game. This time we are going to lock in another knight. We roll them for one, three sheep, nothing, not sure we need, and nothing relevant. So we're now going to get another knight, four knights. Now what I could do is use this and get a settlement. So I could get five points. I could wait and try and get seven or nine. So I'm going to wait, I think, although that is a nice possibility because I don't think I'm going to need them later. But I don't want to lose two points, so I'm going to leave it. Let's hope I don't lose those five points. So that's another four. So that's four there. I hope you haven't made a mistake doing this one. Um, what's useful here? Getting another knight will be good. So let's just roll them for the time being. Um, nope, nothing of use. I haven't got my brick yet either. Another reason why I want to go for it. I'm going to keep rolling and hopefully get something. Good. So I've got my knight. That's five points. And I've got a bit of road. So that is six points. It's going for the knight strategy today, it looks like. Roll again. Um, now what? Again, going. For, I just want to get all my knights out and then I don't have to focus about knights anymore. So let's try and get... Do I have some road? Let's try and do this for one. Okay, I didn't get it. I've still got my sheep I can use. I want to risk it. Come on, sheep. Excellent. And I even got a double. So I happen to get final knight. So that's another six points and a road. That's seven points. Cool. Let's roll again. So now I've got everything to play for. Um, but I can only use them once. So here, uh, let's consider. I want to get round further. Do I just want to get... That was a lumber. So do that. Maybe focus on to get my roads out and then thinking about this. Um, not sure. Do I want the settlement? I'm going to roll again. I think I want to get that road out. Good. So I've got two roads. So I am going to go... It's interesting. It's still 30 points. It's huge. I want to do it again. One, two. That's two points. Roll again. Um, so now I can start thinking about getting some, this could give me 20 points if I go for that uh, city because I've got this here and I've got one here. I think I'm gonna do it, take 20 points. So 20 in here and then roll again. Um, I still need to move up. So I think that's a good idea. Not sure what I want here yet. Ah, I didn't cross this off because I'm sure I used a, an ore. Right, here's some ore. Um, two bits of thing. Nothing else left. Let's just roll them. So I've gone one, two for those two bits of wood. And now we're focusing on maybe going for that 30 pointer. Uh, nothing very good there at all. Don't need to worry about knights. Um, it is nothing relevant apart from maybe getting some grain, maybe getting some wood. I do need to be careful I get something though. Um, for the time being though, I'm gonna roll everything. Worst case is I could use this to get a wood. Okay, so I've got this and this. I'm gonna roll one last time. I don't think I'm gonna get it. 
So unfortunately, I've used my all already. I've got nothing else relevant. So I can't use that one. Ah, yes, I can. So I can use my special to get my ore to get 30 points. And if that happened to be a brick, which I could use, I could start going up this way. Because there's not much else I want to use brick for, to be honest. But I'm going to just risk it and wait. Um, okay, more ore. One, two, three wheat and a wheat, but where will I do it? I could do it for, no, I can't do anything relevant there. So my first roll, I think when you start going this way, I'm gonna just use all the dice, because it's more efficient, and try and get um, some road building. Okay, I think that was my final roll. I'm just gonna stick and get a brick here for one point, and then this doesn't give me anything of use. I'm just going to take it for one point. I don't care too much about that brick at the minute. Although going for the house could be good. Um, here we go, another brick. Don't need anything there. Maybe try and go for a house. One. No, I need uh, timber. No. So I get one here. And I might actually use this to get that. So cross that off and get ten. And then I've got my final roll. So what do we have? I could do maybe a house if I can get timber. So where would I stick my house? Probably here for seven, I think is the best chance. I've still got tons of stuff left. Um, so I've got some wheat, I've got some grass. Let's just, um, I don't even need this one because I could use my wheat here. Let's roll all of these. So we've got a sheep. And we haven't got the timber. We've still got a sheep here though. So we're going to roll one last time. Uh, and we would roll this as well, having looked. So now I've got all this. Um, so I've got no timber. Is this going to be minus two? It could be. Um, can't get any more knights. Can't get. Um, yeah, this might be minus two after all that, which might have been a bad decision. So now I look at my final score. It seems to be okay. 4, 8, 10, uh, that's 20, 27, 29, 49, 51, 81, 82, 92, 90. Not too bad. So that is my score, 90 in the game of Catan Dice Game. So you can play Island 2. And what happens there is you have three dice for the first player. So that person would roll there. The second person then rolls with four dice. The fifth player or the third player, sorry, rolls five. Final player rolls six, or basically take it in turns if you're playing fewer numbers, until eventually all six are in play, and then you'll keep playing like that. That same thing's um, like the game one in Island One. The difference being is you can't use these until you've circled both of these knights. Um, aside from that, longest road. So as soon as somebody hits five, which is one, two, three, four, five, then you can claim uh, along this road, you do a tick. If someone beats you to it, you put an X through it and then they tick it. So you're getting two points here. Largest army, person with at least uh, three knights initially gets that as well. And finally, um, it's the first 10 points. So you can get two points for um, a city, one for a settlement, and you won't get anything for roads because you're doing something another, another way. So that's how Island 2 works. And um, as a solo game, I don't think it's any good really because you're just seeing how far around you can get. As an example, I think there is a piece of paper here that I've done Island 2 and I happen to get around to here, getting some knights and getting two points for, for getting Longest Road and Army, but there was no competition. So as a solo game, Island 1, I do enjoy. I like the dice, I like the fact that it's um, you know, engraved into it, it's nice, I do like um, that look. And uh, yeah, as for Catan, I think this is really good actually. Um, I know it is basically Yahtzee and then you're just trying to get a run, you're trying to get you know, a certain thing, and you're trying to get you know, your, your full house basically. But having said that, I don't want to um, you know, overly strip out that theme, because I do feel it works really well for this, and this surprised me. I mean. Board Game Geek lists about 5.7, and the Deluxe Edition, which includes a cup, it's uh, 6.5. But I find it's just really enjoyable. I'm surprised how um, simple it is, 
but how quick it can be and how much fun you can have. Again, you need to make sure your pen's visible, but for a game that's a roll and write, this was uh, a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be as enjoyable as it's been. So it's 156 grams, it's very lightweight. In fact, that does include a pencil that uh, I had in there, but if you take that out, then it's something that's pretty portable and <laughs> saves you a gram. But it will need pens, obviously. Um, you don't need to have them in there. But I did find pencil, it was quite hard to see, especially if I was going to show you this um, as I marked it. If I'd show an example, um, it's just quite difficult to shade it in, and yeah, it's a bit tricky. So if I managed to get actually something that equaled my score of 94, so maybe I'll see if I can uh, increase that again, or uh, who knows how I'll get on. But I'm sticking to that same strategy. So that is Catan Dice Game, and um, as I mentioned, I've actually um, brushed shoulders with Klaus, it's very cool. And um, yeah, I think if you spot this, it's worth checking out, especially as Roland Wrights are very big at the minute. And I hope you enjoy it. So thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm doing lots more videos at the moment. And uh, there's some games coming from GMT. And finally, um, if you have any comments, please stick them in the YouTube comments bits and I'll respond as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.